this is like his de facto rookie year, basically. And when you look at Hendon Hooker, he uh, he obviously has a tremendous, 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 tremendous repertoire. But the problem with Hendon Hooker is he's a rookie. By all intents and terms, he was he did not play last year. He did not participate in training camp, did not participate in preseason. So he is re- respectively going in as a rookie. It should be treated as such because it's unrealistic for me to come out here and say and judge him in the preseason and say, oh my God, that's that's something that you know you should be you should be better in your second year. To, respectfully, this is his rookie year. And you got Nate Sudfield as the third string quarterback. What's interesting, not really interesting, what's what's eye-opening for me is there has been some national publications that have talked about the Detroit Lions trading for a backup quarterback. I'm not at that point, but it's something to think about. Because if Hennon Hooker comes out in this training camp and in this preseason and shows he's not ready, Shows that you know he maybe he needs a year to to to, uh, to kind of develop, you know, a full year to develop to become a backup quarterback. That would be a realistic ser- scenario that could happen. Unfortunately, if you're a Detroit Lions fan, you you would, you would basically put your hopes on Nate Sudfeld being your backup quarterback if you don't go outside the fold and try to get someone else. And that's just not a meaningful scenario for me. Like I look at I, I look at Jared Goff and he's one play away from this whole thing going haywire. You know you're a Super Bowl winning team with Jared Goff. You could be a Super Bowl champion because he's a top fifteen quarterback at, at at worst. But without him, you still got a good team. Are you winning a Super Bowl? No. Could you win playoff games potentially? And if your quarterback catches fire or your quarterback becomes like the next thing, like Brady or, you know, someone like that, maybe you do catch that fire. But at this point in time, like you look at, you look at Hannah Hooker, you look at Nate Sudfeld, and those are your two quarterbacks right now. And that's why it's one of the most important battles of the year that um, Hendon Hooker shows he could be the backup quarterback. Because if the Detroit Lions have to go and trade for a quarterback, there's a good chance that that quarterback isn't going to know the play calls. He isn't going to know the routes. He isn't going to know the the wide receivers. You know, he's going to have to learn that. And when you get that close to the season, there's a chance that that could be a huge, huge issue. This doesn't seem like an issue for a lot of teams. But as we look around the NFL, like we've seen Joe Burrow go her down and Jake Browning had to come in to get to to make the Bengals a playoff team. You saw Nick Foles going and win a Super Bowl, like we said earlier. These things happen. So I'm looking at the full dynamic. And if Hedden Hooker cannot prove through trainer camp, through preseason, to the coaches that he is that backup quarterback, they gotta go make it. They gotta go make a move and try to get someone to help them out. And unfortunately, what that's gonna do is if this is not it's not a this is not a scenario I want, but this is a scenario we need to talk about. If Jared Goff was to go down in game one, that quarterback is gonna have a lot to learn in that short period of time. You know, you'll you'll, bear, you pro- you'll probably get this quarterback in week two. You know. Week two, week three of the preseason. And then he's going to have roughly two weeks to get it all down for the season. Because you're one play away from Jared Goff becoming an injured quarterback. And that second string quarterback is going to have to go in. And that's why, like, I look at this this positional battle with the quarterbacks, with Nate Sudfeld, with Hendon Hooker. And I look at it and I go, man, this is one of the most supreme, one of the most logical and one of the most underestimated points of this training camp and preseason because we really need Hendon Hooker to show that he could be a good quarterback um, to be back up. He doesn't have to be perfect. Just show you're competent. 
show you got the plays down, you know, show you got the the, the lingo down. Like, it, there's a lot that goes into, into being an NFL quarterback. And the coaches will know more than me. So I, I'm not going to have that discussion of, oh, you think Ken Hooker sucks. No. I just have a discourse about your second string quarterback. Last year when we we signed uh, we signed Teddy Bridgewater, I think it was in week two of the, the the preseason. You know, he went out there in the first game and he looked like crap, and that was to be expected. And a lot of people, they they there was a lot of Lions people, Lions media, Lions podcasters that went off, said, "Oh my God, what we paid for this guy." That's what happens. This is the reality of the NFL. You know, I think a lot of people that sit there and they talk about these players and they have this go, this Madden type mentality where you can just put any player in there and kind of you're playing with these guys. Like you can put the overall up to 99 and, and, and you're not missing a beat. But in the NFL, in real life, it doesn't work that way. So quarterback is something that I'm looking forward to in terms of that.